Hello guys, Rad here from Rad Pizarot and I do want to let you know that the extended monthly reading which focus in depth into a career and uh, relationship life for the representative side uh, sign are now available for just as little as uh, one dollar. So if you want to um, if you want to go more in depth for your star sign and you like my readings in the way I read, you can uh, purchase these extended videos on my website, uh, either going there uh, from your browser or uh, just, you know, visiting the link that is displayed down below in the description of this video. And uh, <clears throat> that way you can purchase those videos. So it's like getting a, a two additional readings to the general reading of the month which is totally free the general one and it is on my youtube channel and um, for those who are more prone you know to know everything they can purchase for just three dollars their sun moon and ascendant sign and that way they are gonna have six reading to kind of like piece together and to and to obtain the biggest picture ever for what is yet to come for them into this representative month and the price is that low because I want to show you um, my appreciation for your loyalty and support. And in case you want to uh, support the channel furthermore, that is the way you do it. So with that being said, I just wish you best of luck and please enjoy your monthly general tarot reading. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye. Hello everyone, Rad here from Rad Kutarot and this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and Capricorn Rising monthly tarot reading July 2018. So we got a, a four position card spread and now the first position expresses up the topic for Capricorns for months of July. The second card will show up the uh, challenges that the Capricorns need to face during that particular month. Third card shows up the positivity that month has to offer for Capricorns. And last but not least, we do have the final outcome as a position or the result of the previous three positions. So uh, as we talk about position, that means that we're going to use enhanced spread and that speaks that we're going to use a couple of cards per position for um, for that spread. So the first card for the first position, this is going to be the, the, the Knight of Cups. Uh, accompanied with uh, the uh, Five of Swords. Alright, so what we do have for you here, Capricorns, is that... Um, huh, it's, it's... Wow. Alright, so um, I'm trying to be a little bit more milder than usual, but I, it's just kind of will not work that way. So it does look like that at this particular moment you will be very bruising and very tenacious. Uh, uh, tenacious, that, that is a, a good thing, thing alright, because it does look like that many things are going to happen in your way. Because what we do have here is the Knights of Cups, alright? This is where you are actually straving towards the things you want to initiate, the things you want to establish as a career as a relationship or maybe as for your child etc etc and accompanied with the um, <clears throat> with the five of swords is me it means that this kind of like a, a, a dream of yours or kind of aims of yours during July they could become rather a little bit more radical than usual all right and before you know it <clears throat> you may start bruising yourself on people and also you may kind of like start the demanding way too much from people so you have to kind of like uh, take a certain measures for it it is just that month just as a topic based on that it does look like that you could really can have it your way but it is very important to recognize where your limits lie and what actually could happen the way you want it uh, with a, a minimum casual casualties possible or a minimal expenses possible and what could happen with an, a price that is more than you know so very important here to really recognize um, your personal limits and capabilities also very important here is as well when it comes to making decisions to be much more uh, accountable 
toward the people around you rather than toward yourself because it, with the five of swords next to the king of cups the knight of cups it does seems that at, at first the decision made accountable accountable toward yourself will seem the right one but afterwards you may start regretting it because you will see how much I can't say really pain, but more like disappointment you have inflicted into the people which are around you. So you have to be careful during that moment when it comes to interactions with others and when it comes to commanding others to do your bidding. And then we do have the negativity you gotta face during the moment that is going to be, or the challenges that is going to be the Ace of Cups with the high priestess so this speaks for passiveness here and passiveness i mean that um how can I place it? I mean that things you would like to do and, and, and things that you would like to happen either into your career and either into your relationship may not happen that month which are going to lead to aggravation and the challenge here is to find the reason why and you may seek the reason into the people you're working with you may seek the reason into the into the people that you are with uh, you know into your relationship or you may seek the reason within you and you will not find it and this is what is going to aggravate you you will not find it guys because the reason is very simple it is not the time haven't came yet so it's all about time and and, and during that month it's all that you need to do is just take it easy that would be the challenge just calm yourself down um be more joyful you know and just do what what it is needed from you to do and whatever happens happens this is the message from the high priestess is instead of trying push to push it just be a little bit more you know kind of like Mm, how can I place it uh, more um, temperant or kind of like have that temperance when it uh, when you approach things because a, a very dear person to my heart once said to me if you push it at the end it's gonna be shit so just you know take it easy and when the time comes you're gonna see that the things are gonna start um, unfolding uh, with much more ease that they are unfolding right now so whatever doesn't want to happen during that month just leave it for August for September for October whatever and then we go to the positivity of the month that is going to be the tree of Pentacles with uh, the justice card so first uh, as we do have the justice uh, i am obliged to say about uh, you know court cases and dealing with uh, the authorities in your country and when we do have uh, the, this particular combination it does mean guys that um, um, the law will be kept in the way that the law is written and as it falls into a positive position then it means that it will be uh, greatly in your favor. So in case you are leading a battle of custody uh, in court or in case you uh, kind of like, you know, have a certain dispute with somebody regarding a legal, um, illegal matters uh, they will not be able to find any back doors so they can take advantage of and at the end you can uh, sleep well and calm for that if you have been honest toward the situation ultimately the things the thing will be judged in your favor but on the more general perspective these cards for you capricorns are pointing that you are going to be involved with a um um not common experience but mute cooperation mutual mutual experience and there will be a lot of conversation and as well critics into that and in a positive way that will make you recognize um <clears throat> you know um what priorities you need to place first and what priorities you need to place second and i kind of sense that the priorities of yourself are on a second place while they have to be on the first place all right so it does look like that by reprioritizing throughout the critics that you may receive from the cooperation you will have either with your partner into your uh, relationship or either with co-workers into your career you're going to uh, kind of like recognize that you are throwing way too much for the people who doesn't deserve it 
and that speaks you will uh, kind of withdraw some of your efforts toward those people so you can redirect them to restructure and make your life much more better like fulfilling promises to your children or to your husband or to your wife you know fulfilling um, duties into your career that you couldn't because you have involved yourself much more to solve someone else's problems to clear someone else's mess etc etc so for what it seems things are going to start arrang uh, arranging for yourself it is just you need to kind of like calm down yourself and be a little bit more patient and a little bit more milder when it comes to crisis uh, crises because you will not experience any crisis during that month but some situation may uh, some situations may look like a, a crisis and that could confuse you in a certain way and with a with a frantic approach and behavior you're just gonna make the things worse so at the end that will be the final outcome here or the result of these cards and now it seems that you do have it your way here with the Emperor and the Death card don't be afraid about the Death card it is not just an catalyst but as well that the Emperor fully negates the negative impact of the Death card it does point here that at the end the change that you are striving toward from here instead of bruising yourself upon the people and upon the situation throughout restructuring your priorities and being patient enough to wait the time the correct time to come around you are able to initiate that either change you know it is change you know because every kind of initiation into an enterprise means change into our environment doesn't it so these particular changes will happen totally on your terms so you will have the game on your turf and played by your own rules all right so it, it does look like that at the end you will be uh, a very blessed you know to call the shots blessed to uh, be the leader there blessed to uh, kind of make a very lucrative uh, maneuvers into your career um, and into your relationship it seems that you will establish control and I'm not talking about control where you're smothering your partner beneath the toe but just on the contrary control upon those in enterprises you had in between one another that have been uh, establishing conflicts all right but now not any longer because it does look like that you can kind of like uh, you know diminish it those kind of enterprises to establish comfort uh, to a, a minimum because uh, basically uh, you saw it coming that is what the Emperor with the death card means you you see where it comes from that kind of for example you know uh, the uh, the problem you see where it comes from and you take a precautionary measures or you have already taken them so you leave no room for arguments you leave no room for uh, scandals into your relationship etc etc and from there you know you can start planning your future life with that guy or with that woman or with the person of in or with the person of interest much more accurately so with that being said capricorns this was your monthly tarot reading for july 2018 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you're interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video rat signing out now see you next time Bye.